Coming up next, we'll see what makes this stretch so intense and what it's like to have a one-on-one -on -one session with a performance specialist. We'll explore a beautiful local park with everything you need for a great time outdoors. Are you a D-Wade fan? His personal chef, Richard Ingram, whips us up a meal fit for an NBA champion. Morgan heats up your Sunday with infrared yoga and we eat and drink well with an Aventura health food spot. It's all today on SoFlo Health. Hey there, and welcome to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today we are in one of the most beautiful parks in Broward County. It's Westlake Park in Hollywood. You can canoe here, you can fish, hike, and so much more, and I'll show you everything that they have to offer. But first, I'm a little hungry, so let's head to Aventura to Miami Squeeze. What's up? I'm at Miami Squeeze in the Aventura area. It's a healthy restaurant, it's a juice bar, and so much more. Let's head inside to meet Warren and the chef and learn more about it. We are at Miami Squeeze, located in Aventura, a healthy juice bar. We also provide Mediterranean food. Mm -hmm. We have a vegan menu. Everything is fresh daily. And what do you want people to know about Miami Squeeze? Well, definitely our famous falafel. Mm -hmm. It's been passed down for three generations. It's a, a must when you come to Miami Squeeze. Once you bite into it, it's like biting into heaven. You see all the <laughs> greens inside of it. And we're also blessed to be here with Chef Sampson, the mastermind behind all of this beautiful food. Chef Sampson, tell me about what we see in front of us and uh, what goes into your mind when you're creating our dishes. What we have here up front is our Mediterranean dish with mm -hmm. falafels, hummus, and our grape leaves. Over here we have teriyaki fish salmon, and we have our wrap me wrap, which is my favorite, the best thing that we got here. We have our uh, gyro chicken, turkey, and onions and peppers. And also we have our impossible Platter. That's an impossible burger? Yes, it is. It's like a real burger. Yes, it is. <laughs> when you're thinking about a healthy meal, what goes into that? Well, that's, I, I work out too, so when I when I come here, I, I want to eat healthy. So when, when I'm preparing this, I'm thinking about the customer, especially the ones that work out and the ones that want to lose weight and eat healthy. That's our goal here. So when we're preparing, we, we prepare it with as little oil as possible, which is our canola oil, and that's the healthiest oil that we could possibly get here favorite ingredient, and that's cooking it with a lot of love. Yeah. That's what we do here. In addition to all the great food you have here, I see we have a lot of juices. Tell me about some of those. Absolutely. So the house favorite is our Kelly Green. Okay. It has pretty much every green vegetable you can think of. <laughs> Kale, spinach, celery, cucumbers. Yeah. You put a bit of pineapple juice. If you're feeling maybe a hot day, you want to get a smoothie. Yeah. We have the best in town, berry crush, mm -hmm. strawberry, blueberries, and raspberries with a drizzle of honey, the best. Well, thank you both so much. Uh, I'm ready to taste some of this food. We've been talking about it for too long, so I'm gonna get a taste, all right? My friend, enjoy it. All right, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Well, Chef and Warren have me all fired up to taste this. I'm gonna start out with what Warren suggested I try, which is the teriyaki salmon, and it smells great, looks great. You see that sauce on there? They make all of their own sauces in-house, including a vegan mayo. So I'm gonna get as much of these flavors as I can get on one bite here. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is delicious. What I like about that sauce is it has that teriyaki flavor without the overbearing sweet. Already have a winner right here with Warren's idea. Now, Chef says I gotta try this wrap me wrap. It's in a spinach wrap. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. You know what, my mouth's full. I think Chef wins. This is delicious. I'll see you out front. It's only appropriate we close our time here with a shot. I've got a wheatgrass shot, wheatgrass shot, and Chef's got a ginger shot. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Take care, and we'll see you later. I'm walking through one of the many hiking trails at Westlake Park where you can spend endless hours in nature just meditating even. Om. Um, 
Oh wait, that was last week. We had Buddhist monks on the show. Did you see it? If you missed it, you can catch it on SoFloHealth.com. Earlier this week, I spent some time at Next Level Strength and Movement, where we assessed some of my issues, and I got some solutions too. Somehow, I'm leaving a gym with my shoes in my hands instead of on my feet, but let's take a step back and find out how that happened. My name is Chris Campbell. I'm the owner and coach at Next Level Strength and Movement here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Next Level Strength and Movement is a personal training facility where we focus on assessing and training each person based on their individual needs and goals. We start everybody by sitting down and talking to them about their health history and their goals. Hunter mentioned that his, some of his concerns were his shoulder and his toes and his feet. So we started with an assessment on Hunter. Uh, that began with our CARS drills. CARS is an acronym for Controlled Articular Rotations. It's a fancy way of saying big circles with your joint. So we're trying to paint a picture of how you move and how your joint functions. And that CARS drill is the beginning of that process. I reach back as far as you can. Back this yep. way, this way, this Swing way. forward, overhead. Okay and reach across your body and finish good. When we got to the top, I noticed that he was, it was a little sticky and a little tight. Um, so that kind of dictated where we were gonna go next with the assessment, which is our table test, where we looked at internal and external rotation along with a more um, in-depth look at his shoulder flexion as well. So when Hunter was on his stomach, we were assessing his shoulder external rotation. I'm looking at both the passive and active range of motion that he possesses. Passive meaning the flexibility, how much can I stretch him? Active meaning how much can he actually move and control himself? When, he, when Hunter was lying on his back, uh, we assessed his internal rotation, uh, doing the same thing, um, looking for passive and active range of motion. And then we had Hunter standing on the wall, arm overhead again, assessing more of those fundamental movements for passive and active ranges. So we looked at Hunter's toes. We looked at his dorsiflexion for the big toe in particular. Again, to see if he had passive range of motion that was sufficient for the things he wants to do. For example, running, okay? Uh, we, we saw that his range of motion was a little limited and that we needed to work on that passively first and foremost. When I'm running, uh -huh. okay, I need that kind of uh, range of motion, that flexibility in my, oh, in my big toe, okay, right? Because yeah. otherwise, how am I pushing off? Where, where are you going? You're I'm likely going of onto the inside of your foot. Yeah. Because that's why this bunny is starting to form. Your foot is a tripod, so the ball of your big toe, the ball of your pinky toe, and your heel should be connected to the ground. Okay. Never lose that tripod, okay? Okay. I want to keep your small toes down, and I want you to lift your big toe up. Just that assessment had me already feeling um, a sense of not exhaustion, but a sense of like work. Like I'm trying really hard here to understand and make mind muscle connections. So it's very interesting, but don't worry. We've got more than just assessment. When SoFlow Health returns, more movements at Next Level Strength and Movement. We're at Broward Health Imperial Point for this week's Broward Health File. Health File, sponsored by Broward Health, where our passion is caring for you. It was actually two weeks ago today. Um, I was at home, I was playing with my granddaughter on the rug and um, I got dizzy and I got very dizzy. I had a pain in the middle of my back. It was off the charts. Harold presented to the emergency room with uh, chest discomfort, suggestive of uh, acute heart attack. Right from the beginning, that should do very well and I'm expecting Carol to do extremely well with her prognosis. They were so good to me and I guess I found out later it was the cath room. Um, they were very good to me, took very good care of me. I was so thankful to them. I was out of the hospital. I came in on Wednesday. I was out on Friday. For more information, visit BrowardHealth.org. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and another great thing about being here at Westlake Park is that there are five miles of mangrove trails to explore. Well, how do you explore mangrove trails? Well, you come here and you rent a kayak, paddleboard, or a canoe, and that way you can get a little extra movement or take a nice relaxing journey through the very special mangroves. You might even see a manatee, but no promises. 
Now, earlier I showed you what we did at Next Level Strength and Movement, where I had an assessment. Let's see the solutions to my issues. We saw in Hunter's assessment that his active range of motion for external rotation for his shoulder was limited. Uh, so we took him over to the rig and set up a drill to address that active range of motion. So we would call that drill a passive range liftoff where we put Hunter into a position into his end range of motion for a shoulder external rotation. And then from there, we actually start to train the muscles and the joints in that end range. That's absolutely something you can do at home and we encourage all of our clients to do that. Our goal is to give you the tools to do these drills on your own because you have to do it consistently. We adjusted Hunter's position, tilting him forward, which really just put him a little bit further into the end range of motion. So we just stretched out that external rotation a little bit more to make the drill more challenging. Arm stays glued. I'm going to kind of tilt my torso. See how my torso goes through. Oh, so leave, leave the arm there, but then you start kind of yeah. hinging almost. That's exactly right. Keeping the elbow in place. Now, without moving anything else, uh -huh. Lift that wrist and hand away from the pole. Try to lose that arm wrestling match. Hold as far back as you can for three, two, one. Relax. We went over to the kettlebell bottoms up hold in order to further strengthen the shoulder joint. We started with that upside down carry with a significant weight in order to train in and around that shoulder joint. Just like a plank, right? We don't want your rib cage to flare out. Right. So pack your ribs down. We're not gonna lean or tilt to any side. I'm gonna hold that. You feel that shoulder, those shoulder muscles working right now. You're gonna feel like it's probably a grip strength yes. as well. Um, so we're trying to build up all those stabilizing muscles in your shoulder. Let's go ahead and bring it down, take a little break. And we'll, do it, we'll do another set here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> we took Hunter over to the box because we wanted to improve his range of motion on his big toe. So we set him up to start stretching the big toe and then we did some isometric contractions to start opening up new flexibility or new range of motion for that big toe. Mobility training is strength training. How often do you go to the gym and train your legs or squat, right? Uh, probably two or three times a week at most, depending on the, the volume and the intensity of those drills. If I train my muscles hard every day, I'm likely to overtrain. So it's the same concept here. We want a balanced training regimen in order to get the most out of our session, but not overtrain. Well, there it is. I'm getting my shoes back on and my shoulders and my toes feel like they certainly put in some work, which is probably something I never thought I'd say in my life. But fortunately, Chris showed me the way and I feel pretty good. So I'll catch up with you later. Ah yes, there's no better way to spend a day than communicating with some fish. How am I communicating, you ask? I'm dropping them a line, get it? <laughs> I cracked myself up. Anyway, let's check in with Morgan. Happy Sunday. For whatever reason, I woke up a little stressed this morning. I feel like I'm holding my breath. I didn't sleep well, so today I am starting my day with hot yoga at Yoga Factory in Weston, Florida. All right, Morgan, let's go, you're late. Come Gotta on, go. I'm late. I feel awesome. It's it's every time I come here, I take off all all of the problems that I you know with our daily life. All the instructors are very good, and I've been doing yoga for quite some time now. I feel like a lot of people are under the misconception that you have to be flexible, you have to be limber in order to do yoga, and from my understanding. You don't, and yoga is so much more than that. So can you tell me your viewpoint on that? The practice itself is in fact a practice of self-realization, self-awareness, and in the process of this, you get a great many physical, mental, and energetic benefits, combined with the infrared heating, which vastly assists your circulatory system, which helps with detoxification, it helps with uh, healing in muscles, regrowing uh, connective tissue. The point is that it is accessible to everyone and millions of Americans each year are trying yoga. You come into any class and you do what you can. It's not a competition. It's not a workout. In fact, it's a breathing exercise. The first time you come in, you're not going to know how to breathe in a hot room, but very quickly you do adapt to it with the movements. And when you learn how to breathe, it becomes accessible and you just find your level. So if it's accessible to everyone, do you think you could show me a beginner move that we can get started with? Yeah, absolutely. So start standing at the top of the mat. 
Okay, feet apart, hips distance. Take your right foot and step it back about halfway. And take that right foot and turn the right big toe towards the front right corner of your mat. So that way this foot is in 45 degrees. Okay. And bend your left knee until they're pointing towards your left middle toe. The point of this is so that that way you can square off the shoulders and the hips. So, reach your arms up, shoulder width apart. And what we become conscious here is the two hip points. Instead of this hip rolling backwards, we're rolling it forward. And then we become aware of these two hip points and they line up with the two shoulder points pointing forward at the mirror or whatever wall you're using. So this allows us to do this hip opener properly without rolling to the side because a lot of people stand dominant on one hip or the other. What and about this is how we arching find our in the alignment. back? Like I know in my fitness world, I'm always teaching pelvic tilt. You brace the core. Is that something I should be mindful well, of? Or? In, in fact, when you do an arch in the back, it's bad for the lumbar. So if we were to do a variation where we do a back bend in this position, instead of an arch of the back, it'd be more a lifting of the heart and reaching the hands back. Because the point of this is to not collapse into gravity like we do when we sit and when we sit in our cars and desks and all that, is to stabilize ourselves aligned with gravity and reach up away from it, okay? And that will find length in the spine compared to arching it, which can cause compression in the lumbar. Well, I am feeling it. Thank you so much for showing me this. Maybe you can show me a little bit more, and I really appreciate cool. your time. Thank you so much Thank to you. Yoga Factory Fitness in Weston. It's been a pleasure. Namaste. I couldn't leave without it. I travel a lot. And every time I travel, I, like, I can't wait to go back home. This is my second home, Yoga Factory Fitness. Man, do I feel peaceful. Sean did an incredible job at breaking down the moves. The vibes here are off the charts. The infrared heat is unlike anything else. And this place is entirely women owned. Morgan, hug it out. Thank you so much for being here. Mm. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to tell all your friends if they mention SoFlow Health, they'll get one free week at Yoga Factory. Did you guys hear that? Come on in, mention SoFlow Health, and you get one free week of yoga. Thank awesome. you guys so much. Thank it was you guys a pleasure. So much. I'll see you soon. Okay. When SoFlow Health returns, Chef Richard Ingram shows us his garlic shrimp ragu recipe fit for D Wade. And you too. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today we've been at Westlake Park in Hollywood enjoying all of the activities you can do here. But we're taking a quick break from that because Heat fans, listen up. We have Chef Richard Ingram, D. Wade's personal chef, with us in our next segment. Now, if you know anything about sports or have been paying attention to the sports world at all, you probably know that D. Wade had his number retired last night at American Airlines Arena. So, to celebrate that, we're gonna show you the segment we had with Chef Richard Ingram from our primetime special from D. Wade's retirement. Geez, we really do like D. Wade around here. Anyway, here it is. We're back at Publix Aprons Cooking School in Plantation, and I'm blessed to be with Chef Richard Ingram, yes. D. Wade's personal chef yes. and author of Eating Well to Win. That's right. All right, this all looks delicious and smells delicious. What are we making today? All right, well, today, of course, we're taking a recipe out of Eating Well to Win, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's a garlic shrimp and white bean ragu. What I think it's important is that it's going to taste really good and oh, yeah. also be nutritious. Right. So cooking for Dwayne Wade, I'm sure that's something that's become just part of your life and maybe was already part of your life beforehand. So how did you get started in all this? It really wasn't a, a thing of trying to cook healthier until I got uh, to start to work with Dwayne. Yeah. As the chef yeah. uh, of a top-notch athlete, it is your responsibility to make sure that right. you provide that, that athlete with the food that's going to help him to be a three-time uh, NBA champion, yeah. you know? So what we have here, we have some large shrimp that we've already seasoned with a little bit of smoked paprika, mm -hmm. a little cumin. We have here some uh, fire roasted tomatoes. And then of course, we have our uh, chickpeas. And okay. then we're gonna finish it off with some truffle honey. That sounds fancy. Okay. Now it is, it's a little fancy, it's a little <laughs> hey, fancy. Right. But now you can find your uh, truffle honey in the cheese section of uh, okay. most of your grocery stores, just like here at Publix, All right. you know? So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add in, there we go, there we go. That's that and there's signal. our shrimp, right? Yeah. What we're not gonna do is cook these shrimp all the way. When we put them back in the pan again, they're overcooked, which means that you're basically gonna have some rubber yeah. inside of your recipe, and that's not what you're trying to do, nah, right? Nah. And we'll, so that add real our quick. shrimp very quickly, yeah. very quickly. Then we'll add in some of our garlic. 
uh, smoked paprika to this a little bit more. Our red pepper flake, okay, for a little heat. We'll go ahead and add in our tomatoes. And what we're gonna do now is go ahead and add our tomato paste. Okay. Okay, this is our chicken broth. Gombazo beans, bay leaves, okay? All right. Now, when you're using your dry herbs, you traditionally want to add your dry herbs into the cooking process in the beginning, okay? okay. The dry herbs need to rehydrate, and once they rehydrate, then the flavor starts to yeah. come out, right? Yeah. Now, if you add your fresh herbs into the beginning of the cooking process, by the time you're finished cooking, you're just gonna have some green stuff floating around <laughs> with no flavor at all. Right. And then our next step will be to add our thyme, and then we will add our shrimp. It smells amazing yeah, in here. Yeah, we, we, we're doing something in here. We're oh, doing yeah. something, okay? So we'll take our truffle honey, and you just drizzle right over the top. It gives them that, my God, what is what that? What is that? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? There is our garlic shrimp and white bean ragu. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah, that's saying something there now. Mm. You can taste that little sweetness from that honey too, right? Mm -hmm. I wish you could taste what I'm tasting, but you can. <laughs> you just gotta make it yourself. Grab his book. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank oh you for God. having me. I'll see you guys there. I'm gonna hear Don't miss the fabulous Blue Jeans and Boots Festival next Saturday, February 29th at the Whispering Mains Therapeutic Riding Center. You'll have a great time line dancing, riding the mechanical bull, and enjoying great food and drink, all to benefit children, adults, and veterans with special needs. Log on to whisperingmains.org or call 305-596-4204. That's it for this week's episode of SoFlo Health. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the show. And of course, thank you to Westlake Park in Hollywood for having us here today. It truly is a very beautiful park here in Broward County that you can visit and kayak, canoe, fish, play volleyball, tennis, whatever you want. All the things that we showed you today and so much more. As always, you can watch previous episodes of SoFlo Health on SoFloHealth.com. You can follow us using at SoFlo Health to share with us what you're doing to stay healthy, and I'll see you next week. Next week on SoFlo Health, get ready to throw some axes and make a great escape with Dr. Claudia Caprio as we explore a more active treatment for anxiety and depression. Don't miss it.